Hello, class. This is Mr. Liebforth. Uh, Mr. Cote and I are going to present area of quadrilaterals today, um, and we're focusing specifically on quadrilaterals that have perpendicular diagonals. So probably the first figure that you think of when we talk about perpendicular diagonals is a kite. Uh, what we have here is um, the two different diagonals. We have one right here and right here and they create um, right angles, 90 degree angles, they're perpendicular to each other and uh, this is just your kind of standard kite that you had when you were a kid, you know, here you are flying your kite, you know, a little bit of hair and stuff, with a big smile on your face, um, there's a breeze coming through, but kites have perpendicular diagonals. Now kites aren't the only figures with perpendicular diagonals, uh, if you remember squares and rhombuses are examples of kites and so squares also have uh, we'll see if they'll let me draw it on here squares also have diagonals that are perpendicular and a rhombus remember uh, a parallelogram with four congruent sides also has perpendicular diagonals and so when we say it you can think about a kite but squares and rhombuses are other specific examples as well uh, we also have kind of a general figure with perpendicular diagonals if you look at this one I mean if it's a kite you'd expect these two sides um, to be equal to each other, and then these two sides to be equal, you know, two disjoint pairs of consecutive sides being congruent, uh, but in this figure that's not the case, and so you still see that we have perpendicular diagonals, and we'll just call this a general figure. Same rule will apply for this one. So I've mentioned these words a few times, I just want to make sure I highlight it. Uh, we're trying to find the area of any quadrilateral with perpendicular diagonals, the diagonals connect one vertex of a quadrilateral to the opposite vertex. So in this picture, it's the, the blue um, diagonal and the, the red diagonal. And I thought, who better than Curious George to introduce the formula for the first time? Uh, the area of a figure like this is one-half diagonal one times diagonal two. And so that's how we can find out um, the area of a figure, a quadrilateral with perpendicular diagonals. And I'll give you a couple seconds to get that down. So you have a kite. Um, it could be a square. It could be a rhombus. And it could just be just kind of that general figure is one-half diagonal one times diagonal two. So you would want to make sure that you have that down in your notes. All right. Well, why does this formula work? So you have the formula one-half diagonal one um, times diagonal two. Why does this work? So let's start with the standard kite. Um, you have this um, side congruent to this side, and then you have another pair uh, congruent as well. And this is kind of our standard kite. You have, coming across the figure, um, you have diagonal one. And then what I did was I split diagonal two into uh, in two different parts. My hope is that you remember a formula uh, for area of a triangle um, from an earlier class, which is one-half base times height. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find the area of this top triangle here, which is one half, and it's going to be the base, which is diagonal one, times um, the height, which is this perpendicular height A. And I'm going to add that to the triangle on the bottom, right here. And that's going to be one half the base, which is diagonal one, times its triangle's height, which is b. And then I'm going to use an algebra rule where I'm going to factor out one half and diagonal one. And what's left from the first term, once I factor that out, is an a. And what's left from the second term after I factor that out is a b. And so the question now becomes, what is a plus b? Well, A plus B is the other diagonal. So if I called one diagonal diagonal one, this diagonal is going to be diagonal two. And so A plus B becomes um, diagonal two. And so that's um, kind of a justification for the area of this kite. In this slide, I just have a, a basic example, kind of a straightforward example for a kite. Um, you see the kite uh, pictured above. Um, we have, you know, uh, the traditional kite here, um, KT, the green um, diagonal, is 6, and EI, the red diagonal, is 10. And uh, I like to kind of 
format my problems like this, I, I always write just the standard formula. Uh, this is also good for partial credit on a quiz or test. Tell me you know the formula. Here's the formula for area of a kite. One half diagonal one times diagonal two. Um, in our problem, um, diagonal one is six units, and so I plug that in. Um, diagonal two is ten units, I plug that in as well. And so basically I'm just filling in the blanks to the formula and then calculating it out. Remember, uh, for area, it's in square units. It might be square centimeters, you know, square inches, but it's 30 square units um, for this particular figure. So basically, I just did 6 times 10 and divided by 2. Uh, here's another uh, problem. Find the area of a square with perimeter 40. Um, if the perimeter is 40, that means each side is 10. Um, and so we know in this example um, that the area of this is 10 squared, or 100 square units. Um, but we also know that a square is a special type of kite, it has perpendicular diagonals, and it also is um, a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So what that means is that the diagonal there is going to be 10 root 2, and the other diagonal is going to be exactly the same. And so you have 1 half 10 root 2 times 10 root 2. And so um, I have 10 times 10, which is 100. I still have the half out front. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. And 1 half of 100 is 50 times 2 is 100. So that's in square units as well. And so you'll notice we get the same answer there in both cases. Here's a final problem. Now this one is a rhombus. Uh, it, it seems like we have four congruent sides. The perpendicular diagonals are there and we're given a, a little bit of information here as well. It says that RB is 3 and in a rhombus you should know that the diagonals bisect each other because it's a parallelogram. Um, RH is 5 and so that actually means all of the sides are going to be 5 and that means these are all going to be 3, 4, 5 um, right triangles. That's four, this is four. Um, so I'm going to use my area formula that says one half diagonal one times diagonal two. Um, it's going to be one half diagonal one which is six and then diagonal two which is eight and you can see it doesn't really matter which one you call diagonal one, which one you call diagonal two. So that's like 3 times 8, which is 24 square units. So in this video, uh, we attempted to talk about the area of a quadrilateral with perpendicular diagonals. Uh, one example of that is a kite. A square is another example. A square is a special type of kite. A rhombus was the third example. A rhombus is a special type of kite as well. And we also talked a little bit about a general quadrilateral with perpendicular diagonals. The main idea was you need to be able to find the area of these figures. The area is one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So in a problem like this, all you really need to find are the, wait for it, perpendicular diagonals. I hope we we're able to get a little bit of understanding. We'll try a few problems now as a class. Thank you for listening. This has been Mr. Leapforth with Mr. Cote. Um, we'll be continuing to develop the idea of quadrilaterals with the perpendicular diagonals and their area.